South Central Los Angeles, California, a place of money and murder. This is the story of two friends who grew up on the bad side of a bad town, where survival is the name of the game, and the game is an everyday part of life. Hey man, there's a around the corner. Yo, what's up now, partner? Get down! You saved my life, man. Of course I did. You're my homeboy. Always remember, homies stick together. Always. No matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that was close. I know. He really ran for the hood tonight. I know. Man, you packing heat? Nah, but I'm packing beats. <laughs> man, you crazy. I know. I know something else, too. You gotta be careful. We're gonna end up getting shot one of these days. Yeah, I'm counting on it. Now who's crazy? Yo, man, I'm about to roll. I tell you what, we need some music up here. Yeah. Right? Oh, what else you got? We got some Havoc and Prodigy, some Little Birds, 11.5, uh, Little Half Dead. Uh, man, you got the selection, case, man. Sally Cell, Two Man, The Brat. Yeah, all that. East 40. All that. DJ Quick. It's hard to decide, man. Warren G. Just put anything in. How about a little hat then? All right. All okay. right then. Yeah. What? Oh damn! Yeah. 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 Now, at the death of his friend, one young man must face the dangers of the streets all alone. Take your remote control and any brand of day, doesn't matter what the hell is in there. Now, now, I gotta make sure, gotta make sure that you get your fork and beans spread evenly across the remote control. We don't want any, you know, kind of falling off there. But, you know, a few may fall, but as long as you get it, eh, spread across there. Now, now, you wanna get some seasoning, and you take any seasoned salt you can, and just kinda, you know, take some salt, pepper, whatever have you, and just kinda sprinkle some of that on there. Now, now, for extra flavor, you gotta add that cassette tape there. Just add some of that there. And just, you know, take a little bit of that. Take a little bit of that and just kind of evenly spread it around there. And you got yourself a nice little snap. Now, you want to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds on high. We'll return to Cooking with Batteries on Channel Strange. All strange, all the time. Oh, God, I love chocolate. What would you like for breakfast, Peter? Cold 
concerto will be just fine. Come on, baby, start the dryer. What can I do for you? God, I love chocolate. Thanks. 
for my car too sexy by far and I'm too sexy for my head too sexy for my head what you think about that I'm a model you know what I mean and I do my little turn on the catwalk yeah on the catwalk on the catwalk yeah I shake my little touch on the catwalk I'll shake it There's over 100 constellations up in that sky. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Most of them people don't even know about. Or they can't find them. Oh, yeah? like That one right there. Which one? That one right there. That one's Sagittarius. Oh, yeah. And huh. you, you got that one over in that direction there. It's called the bear. You can see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Huh. Wow. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants, you know so much about constellations. Now, what about, let's see, what about that one right there? What's that? Where? Right there. I don't know what the hell that is. Hey, Todd! How would you? Like Good evening, and welcome to AM Does 2. That rhyme, but that's not my line, is it? Oh, no, it isn't, Todd. That was a nice try. No, it wasn't. And in fact, I found it rather unprofessional. Shut up. <clears throat> For those of you who actually stayed up to watch the entire show, we thank you, and we hope you're... Bored of tears. ...entertained by our... Lack of talent. ...great cast, and we like to show our appreciation and thank them... For ruining our show. ...contributing to... ...delinquency of a mind. ...this huge project. I'd like to also thank our studio audience, which have uh, known about the show for a long time and still decide to show up and see it. But thanks for putting up with our stupidity. And most of all, thank you for putting. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. You sure? That sounded pretty dumb. Of course it's dumb. Isn't everything we do stupid? Well, yeah, but I don't remember writing this. Who wrote this? I think we did. But that's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. They're going to think we're morons or something. Well, how do you know they don't think that already? I don't, but it sounds dorky. It makes me look like a gimp. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The wrong live? No, I haven't forgotten. We're back, and that just about wraps up this show. <clears throat> and getting back to our thank yous, I'd like to thank my co-host, Mr. Crystal Boyce, for his... Bad acting, no talent, worthless, lazy. <clears throat> for his bad acting, no to Now his, uh... Bad acting, no time. I have absolutely no reason to thank you for anything. Actually, Todd, I appreciate that. <laughs> no, in all seriousness here, I honestly have nothing to thank you for. I mean, you can't write, you can't act, you have the dumbest sense of humor I've ever seen. I mean, you're about as funny as a bag of hammers. I mean, thank you for pudding? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Nobody understands that. I said it and I don't even get it. Hey, that pudding line was funny. <laughs> to you? I say it, it makes me look like an idiot. Well, better you than me for a change. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, folks, we're having a good time here. And all kidding aside, for real this time, I would like to thank Chris for his work on the show. Uh, he's worked harder on this show than he ever worked on Livewire. Yeah, I think so. I mean, this is like the first time we've ever had an entire show scripted out. And believe me, it helped. That's a Roger, Dave. And if there's anyone who's seen our other shows, would recognize this. Okay, coming up next, we've got a skit, or, well, it's not really a skit, it's like a short clip, but it wasn't acted out, it was just, like, put together. 
and uh, it's pretty cool uh, but it was really hard to put together because uh, I had to dub it over and over to get the effect I wanted and so I you can say something too you know just jump right in no I have nothing to say And, and that is why we scripted out the show to avoid situations like this. And if this had been an actual show, the routine you have just saw would have been followed by extreme stupidity, a vulgar display of nonsense, and an overwhelming need to hurl. Rescue units were dispatched immediately after a quick coffee break and a trip to Dunkin' Donuts. And whenever possible, the family members of police officials have gathered together to reinvent the past tense. This is not a nude broadcast. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement who know what the kind of sausage tastes like. What? And you talk about me making sense. Anyway, all seriousness aside, how do we get on this conversation anyway? I don't know. What were we talking about? Oh, uh, how scripting out the show helps. Yeah. You shut up. <clears throat> and you can see why it helps, because without lines, I ramble and Chris goes blank. Hooked on phonics work for me. I seriously doubt that. <clears throat> anyway, we're just about out of time, so it's time to wrap it up. Coming up next in our last block for the evening is a tribute to the partner I started all this with. It's the last thing and the final clip of the show featuring myself and the co-creator, co-producer of AM Dusk 1 and 2, Ms. Jennifer Rose. And to close out, we'd again like to thank our studio audience for coming down to see the show. And to everyone at home, thanks for watching. Yeah. <clears throat> like to thank our cast members for sharing their talent with us and to our crew for making us look good. We know it wasn't easy. <clears throat> and I want to personally thank everyone who made this project possible. And now we have Block 7 coming up next. Block 7 coming up next, so stay tuned. But that wraps it up for Chris and I. So, for AM Dusk 2, I'm Todd Hill. And I'm Chris Du Bois. Thanks for watching, and, and good night. night.